We're back. We made it from Vegas. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Day Update for Friday, December the 18th. My apologies for missing all week, but it was just too challenging to get them out as we were working very hard in Las Vegas. And today's update is brought to you by our friends at Family Farms, our new partners. And of course, there's quite a few farmers out at the uh, event this week. And uh, you can tell by my voice, it was a great event. It was like being back in the pits. We had a uh, a great a great time and uh, learned a hell of a lot. And uh, the live stream was unbelievable as we were able to deliver the recording right in the afternoon, right after the event was over. In the meantime, here we are, markers are a little bit lower, but they've been having a good week all week. And, you know, the, the, we have the same issues, liquidity, volume, they don't exist. Today is triple witching expiration or quad, whatever you want to call it, but it means nothing. Everything is already expired. And we're going to be into what is happening, uh, you know, towards the end of the day. Now, you could see some movement at the end of the day because the volume and the indexes will be heavy. So we'll see if there's some movement. In the meantime, it's a relatively quiet day, which is very typical for triple witching. Uh, crude oil is higher. And, of course, we are still long. Bonds and notes are higher. We're long. Uh, nat gas is, is higher. And uh, we're short. And, of course, uh, the dollar is getting smushed as we thought, it has broken below that 90 level. Um, the, the the overall picture here is is fairly clear. There's nothing going on. That's the picture. And this is basically, from a trader standpoint, the last day of the trading year, basically. So as we, as we look and we move forward, uh, now we've had metals making an attempt to break out. Uh, we are now long across the board as well. So you know, again, we don't try to give an opinion. We don't listen to the news. What we wait for is for the price action to tell us that it's correct, and the, and we have a, a such so so to speak a green light to get in, and we're in. So we are along the metals across the board, and of course, grains uh, are are higher. Uh, we are along across the board. Uh, corn and soybeans are higher nicely. Wheat's down about a penny. Uh, the meats felt relatively flat, but feeder cattle's a little bit lower. Fat cattle is a little bit higher. Hogs are a little bit lower. Uh, excuse me, apologies. Hogs are a little bit higher. I have not looked at the softs all day. I apologize. Uh, I will get them on, on Bubba's bottom line on Sunday, and I will get them on, uh, obviously, in the future. I just, honestly, I've been so busy, I forgot to take a look. In the meantime, don't forget about our, our great commodity report. Andy was unbelievable in Vegas and, of course, uh, was a smashing hit, but uh, he has, it's, it's called Technomental. If you would like to get last week's issue, you can check it out to see if it's something for you. Uh, certainly, it is, we believe it's the best report out there for the commodity space, and especially tying in our algorithms. And of course, our brokerage partners, and I do have other brokerage partners. I mean, other brokerage places I use. And of course, I've got numerous accounts, but the ones I prefer, Commodities and Futures, CTG Group. Again, they do a great job. Nell came out and spoke to the group and had, uh, you know, again, talked about what we do and how we do it and, and also brought up their new products for their managed futures if you want to check them out. And for equities and options, there's nothing like Trader. Finally, it was nice to see the light go on in many people's eyes that why would I want to pay more than $10 a month when I can get $10 a month, especially when we introduced the new a program through Trader that will uh, we can we have the ability now to totally do all of our trading automatically through our computer programs, which match well, obviously what we're doing. So you know, you know, we look at it and we go, it was a great a time, a great event, and obviously a lot of discussion about our high school program as well. And I explained why we haven't been able to get it up yet, but we will be getting it together soon. Uh, but if you'd like to help us, you can go to Patreon, p a t r e o n dot com forward slash Bubba Trading has patreon.com for says Bubba Trading. Have a great weekend, everybody. Doing a webinar tomorrow on our equity portfolios. You want to check it out? Uh, please feel free to do so. And of course, uh, we will see you Sunday with Bubba's Bottom Line. In the meantime, be careful. Liquidity and volume are a problem. We'll see you back here again on Sunday with Bubba's Bottom Line and every day next week, except for Friday, Christmas, with Bubba's Daily Update.
Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you Sunday. This is Baba signing off.